been recording all of my action, so I don't know how much you saw. Now, what I want to do, I'm going to share my screen with you because I want to show you my video, my database file. Okay, I have to share my screen. Screen one, share. And I'm sharing this screen and I want to have the whole screen at home video I'm presenting now I'm on this screen okay now I want to show uh, okay I'm going to go to my file of this is my access database that I work on I have been working on it was Christoph's birthday so I have a photo register I have listed all of the photos, not all of my photos, I'm still working on making my list of photos. I have a photo list. I started in the days when we used film cameras and I actually got involved in databases because I wanted to find a way to catalog my photos and video, photos and films. So I have a photo list and I'm still working on consolidating all of the photo lists that I have because I have lists of the various films that I took. And now I'm starting to enter all of the digital photos into this photo list. So this is uh, my front page of my, my front end of how to access my photo list. So what I'm gonna show you what I did, for example, for Christoph's birthday, if I select Christoph, his photos, this will open my list of the photos of Christoph. And this takes me directly to the link of his photos. Currently it, is sorted i'm not sure how let's go from the newest to the oldest okay and so now we'll when you what i have put on my photos i'll just show you when i enter the photos i entered them on this one i gave the photos a name and selected the information about them and if i put christoph's name here as being in the photo then my query would select this particular photo with his name in it to go into this list. So on this list of Christoph photos, you'll find that his name is here in this people list. It may be lots of other names as well. It may be only Christoph, but this query should select all of the photos that Christoph is in. So what I've done in my registry, I have put a description in if I've got around to it and any other information that I wanted to keep and then added a link here to the photograph on our Synology. And I'll show you now what happens when I go to the Synology. I click on this link and it's gone to the other window. So I'll just bring that window here. And this is our Synology, which is our home server where we can store all of our information. I'll go on big screen for that for a bit. Oh, that's, uh... So let me go here. Doesn't want to go. Okay, that's, that's the Synology on here. And it takes a while to open. It's connected to the internet. And this is that photo. So this is Godwin and this is Christoph. So that since now let me minimize that to go back to my database. Now, since I said I wanted the photos sorted chronologically from the newest, this photo has been added most recently, but it's actually a 1990s photo. It's the year that Christoph was born, 30 years ago. I did this for his 30th birthday. And now this photo should be moved to the 1990 category, so it should not appear on this. And this one is 1996. So you can see here, I have 715 photos on this directory of photographs of Christoph, but actually all of the links have not been done yet. I'm still working on adding the correct links into this database so up to this one so that's number 202 of 715 
these are all the links that are already on Synology and after here, some of them are on my external hard disk, some of them are on my local computer and some of them are already on Synology, but I'm, that's, that's what's keeping me occupied these days. I, I'm just a data assistant, I'm a data freak and I just like to have this information organized. So this is what I wanted to show you and what I'm going to go back to, to show you is that now that I have corrected the date there and for example this one here this was the label on the photo is 1996 so I know that it pro probably actually was taken in 1996. Around, uh, so this is the label that I have given to the photos I've given myself an indicator I've put this C meaning circa approximately when I look at this particular photo I'll click on the photo and show you when I look at this photo, I assumed it was when he was about six years old. And so I gave it an approximate date so that I can sort the photos in roughly chronological order. Of course, I would love to have them perfectly chronologically. This is going to the front page of the Synology and then it's going to go directly to this particular photo. This is the name that it's been given from the scanner when I scanned the photo in. So this is a photo of Godwin and Christoph. I think it's up in the bunk bed and it could still be in Linz, which is why it would be 1996 because it was in summer in 1996 that we moved to Tvetl. But I assume that it's still in 1996. And this is the owl that he was asking me about recently. We got two owls from Evshen when we had our family reunion in Garflens uh, so a few months after Christoph was born. So that's the two photos. Let me go back to my database. I'm going to re okay, I have relabeled that one. And I'm going to relabel the date here. I have two columns for the date, one for the date and one for the time, but they both store the same information. But in order to sort it correctly, I need to correct them both. So you'll see there are, um, okay, these photos here and now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to close this query and I'm going to save the changes to the design because what I changed here was I changed the date of the sorting to chronological and it gave me the newest photos first. So it will now take away the photos that I've corrected the entry for. I'll go back and select Christoph's photos and the first photo of Christoph will probably be a different one because I have now moved that other one to the correct timestamp of 1996. So our internet is fairly slow, which you pick up when we have Zoom meetings. And I hope this Zoom is really only recording locally and going a bit more efficiently than when I'm in a live Zoom conference. So this photo was taken in Linz also probably 1990, Godwin and Christoph, we are in the church, Unification Church Center in the Sharitza Strasse in Linz. And I should relabel that to the year so that it helps me to put it in correctly. So from here, once I'm in Synology, I can, depending on which album it's in, it's in the album for the 1990s. There are 59 photos in the 1990s album. And I could just continue going through the 1990s to look at the other photos. This is when we were in Siebenstein. This is Irmgard, Gelinde Goetz, Avenir, Joseph, Hans Wagner. And this is me with Godwin. We were living in Siebenstein when Godwin was born. So this is what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you what a whiz I am at the database because you can now click on anyone you can select a photo with Godwin and Christoph or Andy and Christoph. So let's look at this one with Andy and Christoph. It will take us, it will open another page in the Synology and we will go into here. I have a number of albums in Synology, which I'm working, see the 49, 50s, 90s. And these are the various albums, but it takes me now directly to that photo that was linked there. So this is Godwin. No, this is Christoph and Andy and they are crawling out of an igloo. That could be in Ostirol. I'm not exactly sure where that one was taken. So 
you know, I'm a mother with five kids. I was very busy when they were growing up and now I'm retired and I'm trying to do all the things that I always wanted to do. And I'm happy to say I'm doing a lot of the things that I've always wanted to do, which is to make this album. And I'm the data assistant. I'm the data freak. I love doing this. I wanted to just make a short video about what I'm doing and it's gone to 12 minutes already. So I'll stop here because I wanted really a short video to explain it. So that's it. And I'll stop recording and close this video now. Okay. So first I'll close the Synology. Yes, this, well, this, these are the albums. Let me just show you again. So here in the 1990s, I have a number of albums there. And you can go to any one of those albums and have a, and check them out. Or I also have an album for my cakes because I was really making a lot of birthday cakes for my kids when they were growing up. And we have a VS Car file, a Vienna Boys Choir. I haven't up, you know, I, this is a this is my life's work. This is what I'm still working on. And also I have photos, uh, historical photos from my parents. This is my parents' wedding. So that's it now. I'll close. I think I better just stop the video and uh, I'll get back and make another one.